You are listening to The Afternoon on Q101 Merit's Music Mix. My name is Jesse Pakulat, joined right now by Jeremy Bueller. Hey, man. Hey, how's it going? Good, good. How are you today? Oh, doing good. So this weekend, you're in the big Nicola Valley Pro Rodeo. You're in the team roping competition. Also entered into the steer wrestling. Yes, sir. Yeah, we go there uh, Saturday morning. That's when you do both of those events? Um, I steer wrestle in the morning, and then I team rope that afternoon in the performance. Oh, excellent, man. All right, so you have a, a pretty interesting story. It was eight years ago. You were still in college in Texas. I read you had $30 in your account. I mean, you put time and money into it, clearly, because at one point, like I said, you had that $30 in your account. You qualify for the World Series of Team Roping over in Vegas, and you win $100,000. You and your brother? Yeah, yeah, me and my oldest brother, Clint. Yeah, you and your oldest brother, Clint. Now, before that event... Was there any doubt or, I guess, fear of perhaps not making it? And if so, how did you manage that? Yeah, for sure. It was one of those things where you're nervous, where you kind of hope it goes your way. Uh, It wasn't like I wasn't going to get home if we didn't win. You know, my brother, he had my back. He told me that we'd be good either way. You know, he was real supportive through the whole deal. And it's just one of those deals you try to show up and do your best and hope that everything goes your way. And it absolutely did go your way in that instance. Yeah, for sure, yeah. Definitely uh, luck was on our side that day. Yeah, so I guess that kind of, uh, that kind of validates everything, too, when you, when you win a big event like that. Not just the money, but just being noticed. Well, yeah, and, and to me the biggest thing is, uh, you know, coming through under the pressure like that. It, uh, it helps for future pressure situations where you know that you didn't, you didn't drop, the wall, drop the ball, you know? Yeah, totally, man. And that actually did lead to you a few years... Later, this was a couple of years ago, it was in 2015, you became the first Canadian, the all-Canadian team to qualify for the NFR. Yeah, we were the, me and Levi Simpson were the first team to ever qualify. Uh, there, there was one Canadian that made it in the healing before. But yeah, it was, it was pretty special, it was pretty cool. I imagine, man. I also understand it was a pretty long time coming for that. I read about when you cleaned your room or something and you came across an old goal sheet of yours from when you were five or six that said you wanted to qualify for the NFR. Yeah, yeah, we, uh, we found a goal sheet that I wrote. From that point, I was already sort of dreaming about making it to the NFR, so it was, it was pretty cool. It's kind of any young kid that uh, grows up roping and stuff. It's your ultimate, it's your ultimate dream to make it there, so it's pretty cool to fulfill that. Do you remember what led you at such a young age to write that down on the piece of paper as one of your goals? I mean, do you remember your first experience being exposed to the rodeo? Not really. I was pretty young, but uh, my parents, they always kind of put it in me that that's, uh, you know, the roping and stuff like that. They kind of gave me our, you know, our first dummy and ropes and stuff. And and honestly, it's just kind of been all I've, all I've ever really known. So I was pretty lucky to have that. So you pretty much just loved it as far back as you can remember. It was kind of a hobby. Now it's basically your way of life. Yeah, for sure. Now, now it's kind of yeah. Now it's kind of turned into your job. But luck, luckily, it's uh, you know it's one that I enjoy doing. So if there's somebody listening right now that wants to, I guess, get into the same thing, what what would you say is the first step that one must take to get it to get into that lifestyle? Probably finding finding a good group of people. You know, or, or any group that's that's willing to kind of help you and give you a little bit of direction. Just there's so much, uh, you know, and it's a little different now than whenever I was younger because now there's so much information on the internet, on YouTube, on stuff like that, of instructional videos and, and whatever. But the biggest thing is just, yeah, try to get around the right people. Set your goals, your, you know, your weekly, monthly, yearly, you know, and be realistic with yourself and, and your capabilities and stuff. And kind of instead of, you know, still have big goals, but have a have a plan to achieve them. Don't just throw them up there in the sky. Well, this is what I'm going to do, you know? Just makes me think of an aspiring actor or something living in L.A. <laughs> saying, yes, I'm an actor. Meanwhile, they haven't acted in anything yet. They're still a waiter. I mean, you have to have that goal, but then you got to get out there and get it. Yeah, and that's, <laughs> that's just it. I mean, it kind of comes down to, especially in this sport, anyone can kind of sit there and say, you know, well, one day... And- you know, but you actually got to take action and you got to, uh, you know, get involved and, and get out there and do it, right? Always a good piece of advice. If you want something, you get out there and you work for it. So this weekend, Nicola Valley Pro Rodeo. Now, have you qualified for the Canadian Nationals this year as well? Uh, yeah, this year we've, we've had a really good year up there. Uh, we're actually leading the standings right now, so we, sh- we should get to go to Edmonton and 
Pete. Yeah, you guys are the leading money winners right now. How how comfortable is your lead right now? Uh, it's not. No, there's a there's a young kid up there that heals really good. Uh, Devin Wegemeyer, he's sort of right there on my on my heels, and uh, you know he ropes really good, and you know it it should make for an interesting uh, interesting finish. Yeah. Okay. So this weekend has some ramifications behind it. Then you have to come through if you want to stay on top of those standings. Yeah, for sure. Because he's uh, that that young guy. He he ropes outstanding. If you stub your toe, he's he's dangerous. We're going to capitalize on it. So he's a, he's a good friend of mine. So it's it's pretty fun. We kind of have a a fun little rivalry thing going on. But. Okay, a nice friendly rivalry between the two of you. Yeah, for sure. I don't even know if you could call it a rivalry. We just kind of go back and forth laughing about it. Yeah. <laughs> When did you first meet him? I've actually known him since he was a young kid. Uh, I don't know, he might have been 10 years old or so. And, and ever since he was that young, I I knew he was talented, you know, and, and knew he'd, he'd go far. So it's it's pretty cool to see him doing good. You knew that uh, perhaps one day you'd be look across the way and you'd see him up against you. Or perhaps in the standings, you see him right behind you. Yeah, and that's, <laughs> that's how this sport is. You'll see, you know, you'll see a kid and... Uh, you know, one one day he's just a little kid, you know what I mean? And the next day he's, uh, you know, whooping you at the rodeos. <laughs> well, it should make for an interesting one this weekend, then. Yeah, it should be good. Yep, yep. Yes, sir. All right, man. We're talking to Jeremy Bueller, and you can see him perform live this weekend over at the Nicola Valley Pro Rodeo. You bet. I was going to ask you about the Bueller stuff. Corey was asking me about that. You think He's like, you think you should ask him about his last name? I'm like, ah. <laughs> I've I've heard I've heard of it. I've heard it. Yeah. Yeah. Do they ever announce that? Like when you're, you know, before they announce you to the audience? Uh, yeah. Every now and again, you you get some cheeky uh, announcer. Yeah, yeah. I <laughs> hear it, but <laughs> yeah, try to try to just stay focused. Right. <laughs> so, Jeremy, man, you have an incredible story. You have such a, a cool journey that has led you pretty much to this point. You're number one right now in the Canadian standings for team roping, and we'll see the number one in action do what he does best this weekend. Saturday is when you will be performing over at the Nicola Valley Pro Rodeo. Thanks so much, Jeremy, for joining us today. You bet. Thanks for having me.